Hello and welcome to Gothic Reviews. Today we are reviewing a slappy action figure. <laughs> he might as well be action figure. That's how big it is. Everything is there. Action figure. I was gonna say, Gomez calls everything an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it simplifies things. He's actually the slappy, I don't want to call him a dummy, he gets offended, but if we're being technical, he is the slappy dummy from Goosebumps. And he is the regular version, the less expensive version, because the upgraded versions don't really seem to be anything we specifically need, and it's already kind of expensive enough. And the upgraded versions don't really seem to be made that well or anything. I've watched a few reviews, and... Um, they weren't raving, so I thought, I'm not going to spend $300 not to be raving. But we love Slappy, and he doesn't need extra, so he's fine as he is. And he's our new roommate, so we wanted to introduce our new roommate to you guys. So, presenting Slappy from Goosebumps. He says hello, he waves. <laughs> <laughs> and there's lots of um, Slappy episodes, and like then, of course, he's in the movie, and you guys, I'm sure, that have read the books, have read him in the books, so... He's just awesome, and I'm scared of dolls, but to me, he's not a doll. He doesn't have the real hair, and he's just so charming. And Gomez was actually creeped out by Slappy more than I was at first. And as you can see, they're friends now. Yes, peaceful coexistence here. <laughs> um, he's made pretty well. He's got a soft cloth body and limbs. Um, his feet are soft as well, the shoes are hard, and I saw a review of a kid saying that if you take the rubber bands off the shoes that they're on, that they will come off. So I'm leaving the rubber bands on even though they kind of make his feet go at odd angles sometimes. Um, the only hard plastic are on his actual hands, they're made of hard plastic and his head. And I'm doing this review because no one, a lot of the reviews weren't, they would just show him and they didn't really go into like all the materials and whatnot. So, and of course his clothes are cloth and um, they have buttons, and his... Oh, he wants to come see Morticia. Yes, he missed you. Oh, I missed you, too. Aww. He felt like we neglected him because we didn't halt him yesterday. He was like, you know, I didn't come here to be ignored. And we're like, okay, we're sorry. Um, here is his string in the back. And you can just loop it around. And now if he wants to talk... That's how he talks, and we have not studied ventriloquism yet, though it might be something we play with if we have time and, you know, inclination, but it works very well because his jaw is, like, hinged, I guess, where it moves down here, as you can tell, and seems to be moving well and have a good firm, like, tightness that it doesn't flop around or anything, so very well made um, in that area. But the upgrade doesn't seem to be really made any better, and I, I just don't think it's worth the money. We found him on this site called throwthings.com, we will leave a link, because it was the best price. I think it was like 50-some. And they're 85 and up on eBay or Amazon or anywhere else. Um, actually, Amazon's out last time I looked. But anyway, um, and that's just the regular version that's kind of starting. So this was an excellent price we found. He's 30 inches tall. And in, when you got him out of the box, it was ridiculous. He comes in a nice carry case, which I'll get and show you guys in a second. Um, it's just kind of a thin, plasticky kind of, but it, it's a, a box shape, you know, where it's got a solid, like, case look. And he can go into it if we go on a plane or anything. I want to take him. He will be taking him on the plane. Not putting him under because I don't want them to hurt him. But um, anyway, he um, came strapped into this, like, cardboard box thing that was open-faced and it was inside the case he had those horrible like you know garbage tie things sort of that you have to cut out he had like three of those and then and, you know you're having to get in there and I'm always scared I'm gonna cut the toy trying to get it out I hate it when they do that and everybody seems to do that these days so he's already in a case and you know it's not like it's gonna be easy to steal then they strap him down in the box to the point that you're having to be really careful not to cut him or his clothes or anything while you're trying to get him out it's ridiculous um, and then, see, they have his, I don't know if it will show, it's a thread, should I hold him this way? Yes, that's perfect. Out, where his, um, it's a thread connecting his sleeve to his, front of his jacket, and it's like, his other arm was like that too, but I disconnected it. I left this one to show you guys, because it was so weird, they also had threads on the back of his clothes, four different places, stitching him to the box. After they did the ties... Three ties that were ridiculously difficult to get off. They stitched him down with thread in his box. It's like, really? 
<sighs> so that was insane. I just, I know this is a pet peeve of mine. I just complain about when they make it where you're afraid you're going to break your item getting it out. And I just wanted you guys to know if anybody wants to get this charming fellow and add him to your entourage that, you know, it's going to be an issue getting him out. Be careful. Um, I do think they could have made him better. There's a little, like, tuft of stuffing in the back right here at the back of his head. It's not coming out. There's not a hole, but there's a little tuft that shows. And, you know, for the price, I just think they could have invested a little bit more effort in... He doesn't like it. We don't like it. So I'm just saying I think that he could have been made better. But, you know, um, he's a great item to have. He's got a lot of great personality, nice mobility, um, easy to pose, easy to sit in chairs and whatnot. And we enjoy having him as our roommate and our entourage of a ghoulish of friends. So you'll be seeing Sleppy again. And until then... Oh, I was going to show you the case. Hold on. It's just a case, but, you know... For completeness and all that. Yes. Slappy would like us to be sore, I'm sure. He's like, oh. Okay. Here it is. It's just, you know, and it's actually when you put him in it, there's enough room to add a few other things too. So if you're taking him out somewhere or on the plane and you want to kind of use it as your carry on and put other stuff in there, you're able to do that. Oops. Whee. And this side is clear. Is that good? Should yes. I it? And this side is, um, yeah, this side is clear. Hello, it's spinning around on me. And this side is not. And then the, now, I gotta get my friend to fix this. This came torn. The little is strap Is it still thing. usable? Yeah, it's just that it's got these little tufts on it, and I don't want it to come unraveled. But it came that way. So, you know, we did pay the cheapest price possible because everywhere else is just really overpricing him. Um, so, you know, whatever, it can be dealt with, but I'm just saying, like, I don't think the manufacturers really care that much, so, doesn't reflect well on them, but we love Slappy, um, would never return him or anything like that, so, um, it was a purchase that we are pleased with, and we will leave a link if you guys want to acquire him, and again, you'll be seeing him again, so we hope you've enjoyed this review of Slappy from Goosebumps, if you have any questions, do feel free to leave a comment or question and ask, and we tried to be thorough, so, um, and if you enjoyed this video and you're new, please stick around for more, like, subscribe, share, and have a dark day. Slappy waves goodbye.